Pisces, hello, this is Soul. And Pisces, this is uh, your two week messages um, beginning May 20th and ending June 3rd, 2019. Okay, the messages will be for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, Pisces Rising signs as well. Um, before I begin your messages, Pisces, I want to wish all those Pisces a very safe and happy Memorial Day holiday celebration. All right, so let's get underway with the uh, messages here for you, Pisces, uh, after a good shuffle. Shadow card energy may be energy that plays out along with the rest of the cards that I select for you, uh, Pisces. Um, pay attention to the shadow card if it is a, a major arcana, whether it's in the upright or reverse position. Um, I feel that it may carry more weight. If it does, uh, if any shows up, okay? All right, so underway, let's get underway, Pisces, my fellow fishes. See what's coming up for you potentially for the next two week period of time. All right, so the shadow card energy for you, Pisces, for some of you, these are just general readings. Relates to, okay, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Major Arcana, like I just said, pay attention to the Major Arcanas. So this here is like um, not for the next two-week period of time. And this is not going to relate to everybody, you know, because like I said, these, these are just general readings. So um, a lot of it is indicated by, you know, what's in your birth chart as well, too. So that plays a major factor. Will of Fortune Major Arcana, however, is a 10. It's a completion of energy. So it could be showing up for two reasons, that there is going to be a change of fortune. OK, that could be one thing. Also, um, or something turning around in your favor, some sort of uh, fortunate uh, happenstance of energies. Also, too, it could be related to uh, others who need to be mindful of not taking any unnecessary risk with any areas okay that includes you know money unnecessary risk because you will be handed in misfortune and we don't want that all right so there's two messages that are coming through already with this will of fortune showing up as the shadow card energy completion of um Good luck and good fortune for some of you, or there's a turnaround of uh, some type of energy. And for others, it's um, not to take any unnecessary risk or gambles with any ventures um, during this next two week period of time. All right. So but your overall energy is. Oh, wow. This is you, the moon. OK, so we have. The moon representing Pisces energies. The moon represents Pisces and other water energies, Cancer and Scorpio, male or female. Okay. And you know what? Just to be, I always do this, but I'm going to select another card because I came up one card short. And we're just going to turn it around. I didn't even look at it and see. All right. So. Moon represents secrets, reflection. It could be for some of you having to deal with um, some type of energy. I don't always like to pick up. But you can see the female here. She looks like she's despondent or she's depressed. So it could be depression. It could be um, cycles, you know, menstrual cycles for some females. The moon represents all of that stuff, but it's a change of energy. Could be reflecting on some sort of past situation, um, but it's one cycle ends, a new cycle opens up. Now, it could be in connection with the Wheel of Fortune as a completion of uh, some sort of bad luck or misfortune. I don't like to use the word bad luck, but I do uh, throw in misfortune. And so that could be a change of energy for some of you who may have been experiencing a streak of misfortune, okay? And now your fortune is about to change. Moon represents, uh, I did say secrecy. It could be reputations. It could be reflection. 
uh, on past events or past uh, situation. So not only your energy, but that of Cancer and Scorpio, male or female. So intuition comes into play. Pay attention to your intuition um, because Pisces, you guys are very, very intuitive. So you may be um, prompted by your intuition and that could be for anything, you know, anything that's going on in your life. You know, just make sure that you're paying attention to your intuition. It's always there to help you and not to hurt you. All right. Following the moon card now, uh, Pisces is the there you go. Relationship. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. There's the rose. So it could be someone reflecting on a, a current relationship or a past relationship. Knight of Cups, the knight in shining armor. The cups represent relationships of all types. But this is someone who's who's here or could be someone that you meet that is going to be supportive of you emotionally. And hence, the moon is about fluctuating moods, moods in general. So someone is here to support and balance out those moods possibly for you. Now, you could be already be in a relationship. Now, this could be a romantic relationship. This could be a brother. This could be a... Um, a good friend, but somebody's here to support uh, my fellow Pisces in the next two weeks. But it's an it's on an emotional level, so whatever that could be, all right. And this could be a new relationship, as I stated before, depending on what else is unfolded here in this uh, spread for you. So let's see what's going on. Um, being that the night is looking at the moon is something to do with the past, so it could be a past relationship. Maybe someone that you've dealt with in the past might want to come back. Flowers, roses, possibly, are given or exchanged. Following the Knight of Cups, uh, Pisces now is, oh, guys, this Magus has been showing up here for these readings. Okay, so it's a major arcana. And I pointed out, when uh, I think, I don't know, I think it was the last sign that I read for. I said, he has a, a, a sort of like a devious look on him. Two sides to this magician when he shows up, all right? I always see the magician as a real person, but the positive aspect of the magician relates to having all those things that uh, you need at your disposal to manifest or whatever it is that you want to bring into your life, okay? That's the positive aspect of uh, the magician. It's also number one, so it's the start of something new. Now, that could be a new relationship on the positive side for some of you Pisces who are looking to um, form bonds with uh, romantic relationships. It could be family. It could be, you know, um, deeper, you know, deeper bonds with friendships or it could be family or your current love relationship. Or it could be the aspect of what you want and moving forward. And, uh, you know, wanting those things in someone new. The negative aspect of the Magus or the uh, magician is always an actual person for me. This is a trickster. This is a manipulator. This is someone who is um, lacks remorse, someone who could be exposed. I mean, exhibiting, you know, um, sociopathic or narcissistic patterns of behaviors. They're only looking out for themselves. They're only trying to get something from you. Um the love, sex, money, your time, whatever, whatever it is that they can gain from you. So it could be someone that you're currently dealing with. It could be a family member. Um, it's hard for them to maintain the mass because <laughs> the energy is very, very strong. They only keep it on as long as it is required to get whatever it is that they're targeting you for. When it comes to family members, I always say that um you will know the difference in terms of the energies is because they'll uh, do everything possible to be in your face and it's favorable, do all the nice things for you. But they're only doing that because they want something from you. Once they achieve or obtain whatever it is that they're coming after you for, then you'll see a change in their behavior. OK, it's like what happened to that person that was acting so nice? Yeah, because you've already uh you know, given what they wanted or what they were targeting you for. So keep that in mind. That also can apply to situations outside of the family. Okay. 
you'll see a different drastic change in behavior. So pay attention to the person putting on the mask, being the manipulator, okay, and the trickster. Following the major arcana, the magus or the uh, is the well, you have another major arcana. So you have three major, four major arcanas in this two week spread. So this is not a bad card. This is a card of introspection. Okay, going within, digging deep into, possibly evaluating something that is close and personal for you. But the positive aspect is always positive. You you may go in. This is a card of meditation. Someone you may be meditating. Uh, in connection with the moon spiritually or seeking a deeper spiritual connection. That could be uh, part of the energy of the moon and the hermit card showing up here for some of us. Okay, but you're going to disconnect possibly your energies from uh, those. It mirrors the uh, Knight of Cups. So some of you could be disconnecting temporarily from relationships relationships of all aspects only to possibly evaluate that particular uh, relationship that you're dealing with or some other types of energy but you're going to come out with a clearer uh yeah clearer perspective and knowing what um you needed to do some introspecting for to go within all right so virgo represents the hermit card and the other earth energies taurus and capricorn as well male or female following the major arcana the hermit uh pisces we now have okay so we have the six of pentacles is showing up in the reverse this is the card of success in the upright but there's also the card of uh, generosity so uh, representing the earth energies again now, I could make a connection to the magician with the Six of Pentacles. If this is the person that's coming after you for some sort of finances, you take a loss. That's the failure of or the uh, opposite. Failure is the opposite of a uh, success. OK, it's showing up in the reverse. So it may be just that direct connection. Someone could be uh, going into some sort of reflection about their own current financial state. Uh, and you know where you are currently or where you would like to be remember you have the magician on the positive side to manifest whatever you want to bring into your life so it could be money and could be just thinking about how you could make your financial picture a little bit better or brighter uh, for all those that are concerned and you still have the support of the king of I'm sorry the knight of cups coming in here and that could be someone um, new or someone that you're currently dealing with. All right. So following the six of uh, pentacles in the reverse, now we have the Empress is the major arcana. So you have one, two, three, four. You have five major. This is some serious energy here. OK, this uh, relates to growth and expansion when it's in the upright and beauty. And it's also a relationship card. So hence that it's underneath the uh, Knight of Cups, your energy. OK, so but I make the connection here with the Hermit that it mirrors the Knight of Cups and that someone here is needing to go in. Um, someone could uh, possibly be dealing with an, a pregnancy issue. OK, someone being pregnant. Because this is the pregnancy card. Now, it's usually the no answer when it's in the reverse position or someone given birth it could also represents the completion of someone given birth but it also could be that someone has you know uh newly discovered or finds out that they're pregnant and now you the hermit card comes in it's connected to relationships hence the relationship card is over the inference card this inference is a relationship card all right. So I'm I'm throwing a little, uh, quite a bit of variables in here for you, Pisces, but I don't want you to get confused at all. I'm making connections here, going within, doing some int introspection, disconnecting your energies from some energy um, may be based on the fact that someone might be dealing with a pregnancy and not knowing what to do and moving forward. Just an example. OK, whatever these energies are for you. Um, create your own story and see what unfolds. OK, I'm just giving you my spin following the imprints card in the reverse position. That could be some sort of um, 
you know, the three representing love triangles. And it could be that this uh, reversal is that there's uh, someone who is booted out or decides to uh, exit stage left. So many things are coming in. All right. Because then you find out or they find out that there's no growth, no expansion uh, in dealing with a relationship where there's another third party or another energy involved. Following the Emperor's card, now we have Prudence. So there's a pickup of finances, all right? Magician is coming after somebody for money. What's underneath this, uh, even though this is still a positive card, I'm just picking up that on the negative side of this magician, someone is trying to get money from my fellow Pisces. So be careful. Be careful. And we're not talking about, you know, a couple dollars. Eight of Pentacles is pretty up there with, you know, the nine of Pentacles. Otherwise, that you know, I'm making this connection between the magician and the prudence card or the eight of Pentacles and the upright. For others, it's just you uh, possibly recovering from a financial loss. And then there's the building up of security and stability for you. This could also be, uh, you know, money coming in in terms of a promotion. Or it could be a job, too could be a job other people are involved here because i don't know if you can see right here this is like a tree it's like a money tree or something could be a money tree and then there's like three or four or five people here so i feel that you know because it is the pentacles working finance other people are involved here other people like the magician trying to involve themselves in a, some sort of financial scheme Trying to get something from you, money, specifically. All right, so Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female represents this uh, prudence or eight of pentacles in the upright. And the final card that I have for you, Pisces, is related to the judgment. Okay, the judgment. So in connection to whatever secrets are hidden or revealed that come out, that's the validation through the judgment. What's hidden in the dark comes to the light. And notice that this dark side, just to show you what the card looks like in the upright, the dark is here in the upright. Secrets being revealed. Now, secrets are revealed because the light, what has been mysterious or hidden, comes to the light. All right. So it could be ending of some type of criticism. Uh, it may be, um, and, you know, Stark contrast to the uh, Hermit card, something uh, in terms of connection there. So much energy is coming through here, and this is another major arcana. So Pisces, you have one, two, three, four, five, six major arcanas in a a card spread. So either you're going to be dealing with a lot of energies because of these majors showing up here but i don't feel that it's you know just because they are showing up here i don't feel that it's it's all that bad even the moon representing your energy okay um but there's a lot of stuff going on here it's people involved and money involved So we don't have the tower. We don't have the three of swords. So relative to that not being present here, this is still a good read. Intuitively, I'm picking up this is still a good read. Just specific messages for some of you to pay attention, especially with the Wheel of Fortune as your base. Uh, because whatever this magician is showing up here for and this other court card, even though it's favorable, is showing up. Somebody, you know, providing emotional support. We don't want to end up with some other type of energy um, when it comes to having to deal with some sort of misfortunate event. OK, or situation or happenstance. So pay attention to your intuition as your overall theme for this next two week period of time It's there to benefit you and to help you Pisces. All right. With that being said, that completes your reading. And let me just um, pick a oracle card for you from the magical times empowerment deck to support your reading and see what we come up with all right 
Yeah, that was a lot of that was a lot of shit going on there, uh, Pisces. Anyway, so the card that's been selected for you is uh, partnership. Okay, so it says here, learn to grow with others, overcome obstacles by working together, touch each other's hearts while life lasts. Partnerships. So that's a pretty good message here for you. All right. All right, Pisces. With that being said, please be safe. Always emphasize that safety. Enjoy the holiday uh, with your family members, friends or solo and uh, whatever you choose to do, do it safely. Sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again. Take care, Pisces. Bye.